Fluoride is actually uh, one of the things that I, I like to think uh, uh, sort of inspired this in a way. Because we, we went to um, all these different countries, and including America, of course, and uh, created mayhem and havoc. And we get to leave. And we get to come home to America, and we get rewards, we get accolades. It's really amazing uh, the benefits of creating havoc overseas. But everywhere I went, I met comedians. And I thought, what happens to those guys when we leave? There is these oppressive regimes, religious governments. You know, what do they do under those conditions on a full-time basis? And I, it, it sort of started to percolate in my mind, and I became curious. And I started to Google the most dangerous places I could think of and comedy. And I would go Iraq in comedy and Somalia in comedy and Syria. And every time, comedians came up. There were always comedians in all these countries. And I thought, that's a fascinating thing. How do you survive as a comedian in Somalia? That seemed like a massive question, you know? And then I became curious about what makes extremists laugh, you know? And then I thought, wow, if I could talk to a terrorist and talk to him about what makes them laugh or what makes ISIS laugh, that would be a very interesting conversation and maybe illuminating in some way. Who knows? It was a fascinating conversation because it was like, Watching someone talk about comedy without laughing at all, yeah, you know? Yeah. It's like, we would do this, and it would be funny. <laughs> right. And there's, like, a very sad, yeah. stern yeah. look. Yeah.